And now, from the Career Tech Studios in Stillwater, here's your host, Rob McClendon. Well, the world's second largest oil reserves are not found in the Middle East, but in the oil sands of Alberta, Canada. Estimates are as much as 175 billion barrels of oil can be recovered there using today's technology. But getting those massive supplies from northern Canada to refineries here in the U.S. is no small undertaking. Today, we begin with a look at the Keystone Pipeline, a complex construction project that will not only lessen our dependence on Middle Eastern oil, but provide jobs to Middle America. OETA's Kathy Tanum takes us to Cushing, Oklahoma to start us off. The final pieces of pipe are being carefully lifted and set into place at the Trans-Canada Keystone Pipeline in Oklahoma. Ultimately, uh, Keystone will have the capacity to, del to deliver 1.1 million barrels a day. And to put that in perspective, uh, we use about 19 million barrels a day of oil in the country. The 36-inch pipeline will eventually span the country from the Canadian border to Houston's oil refineries. Phase two of construction brings it into Cushing. Phases three and four will take it the rest of the way across Oklahoma and through Texas. Around the first of the year, crude will begin flowing through the pipeline into Keystone's Cushing Terminal. Cushing is a vital hub uh, in the distribution network. Millions of barrels of crude travel in and out of Cushing's vast tank farms and pipelines. Some goes to refineries, some goes to storage. Almost every major oil company has some type of facilities in and around Cushing. I would guess there's 20 or better uh, major pipelines across right through Cushing area. Keystone is the latest. Its pipeline got the green light after Hurricane Katrina disrupted oil deliveries to the Gulf Coast refineries in 2005. Supporters call a pipeline running underground from Canada through the U.S. a safe, eco-friendly way to ensure America's energy security. There aren't many hurricanes in Canada, uh, and hurricanes generally aren't much of a concern when it comes to pipelines. Opponents don't like that the majority of the oil it will carry comes from oil sand fields in Alberta, Canada. They believe drilling operations could compromise the area's environment. Keystone's operators say they don't drill. They provide the means to get the crude from oil fields to refineries and storage facilities in Illinois, Oklahoma, and Texas. In Oklahoma, uh, Keystone's making a capital investment of uh, almost $850 million. We estimate that Keystone construction in 2010 uh, will generate about uh, $20 million in additional tax revenue for the state of Oklahoma and for local economies like uh, Cushing and Stillwater and Payne County and Lincoln County it'll generate another $4 million for local economies. Putting in this pipeline means there's a need for a lot more storage here in Cushing, so the tank farms are going up right and left. It's my understanding there's about 100 new tanks within this year's construction, uh, and looking forward, you know, we may have another 100 or 200 more tanks that are gonna be constructed. The rusty ones aren't old. They're still under construction and just haven't gotten a shiny top coat of paint yet. The old tanks were like 80,000 barrels. Most all the new tanks being constructed are 250 or 350 or 500,000 barrel tanks. Which means Cushing's tank farms and pipelines will remain a key component in the nation's ability to store and distribute crude oil.